Hello everyone and welcome to today's presentation. Uh, my name is Chris Kim and I'm a field application engineer at SD Microelectronics and I help cover MEM sensors. So today we'll be taking a look at our latest inclinometer part. The part number is called IIS-2ICLX. And how do we do this? We do this by leveraging our uh, readily available evaluation hardware and software platform. So as you may know, inclinometers are used in a wide variety of applications today, ranging from vehicles, robotics, uh, to structural monitoring. This device is our latest high-end industrial two-axis digital inclinometer. As with all of ST's industrial sensor part numbers, we guarantee 10-year product longevity commitment. So as you can see in our website, the sensor is a high-performance, low-power, and highly configurable sensor with powerful embedded features. The IIS 2 ICLX notably has higher extended operating temperature range from negative 40 to 105 degrees C, has superior stability and repeatability performance over temperature, and it also has ultra low noise performance of 15 micro G per square hertz. And lastly, it has advanced embedded features such as finite state machine and machine learning core built in to develop complex solutions at the sensor node level. Now to quickly evaluate our latest inclinometer device. I have here three pieces of hardware that you will need in order to connect to our software tool called UniCleo to see our sensor results real time. So the first piece we have here is called the ST eval MKI 209 V1K. So this includes a DIL24 adapter with a ribbon cable attached on both ends to a small adapter board that has on board the IS to a CLX. So this also has the ability to mount uh, either by screws or with a double-sided adhesive. Next component is our versatile nuclear board. So I have here in particular uh, L4 variant, but also the L0, L1, as well, as well as the F4 variant of the nuclear board is compatible with this uh, application example. So lastly, I have here is the X-Nucleo IKS 02A1. So this expansion board connects to our nuclear board and it also has on board industrial uh, motion sensors as well as digital microphones. So I will put these together like so and it's very simple. You just have to align the pins and put them together like this. Okay, and there you have it. So all you need to do now is to attach the USB port into your PC, and I will do this. The Telesensing 2 application used in today's demonstration can be found in the XQMEMS1 package. And the process of programming the pre-compiled binary is through a simple drag and drop operation into our nuclear board. Now to demonstrate how we can connect our device to our Uniclear GUI, I have here a demo that I mounted the inclinometer to the side of this cool looking RV. And so this dump truck has the ability to lift up the hoist and my inclinometer will be able to detect the changes in angle. So let's see the sensor output through the Uniqlo GUI here. So you can see the angle real time as well as the accelerometer data. And in the Uniqlo GUI, you have the ability to log the data. Okay, so let's see how the sensor output looks like as I lift up the hoist. Thank you for your time today to watch my demonstration. If you need more information or you would like to learn more, everything in today's demonstration can be found on www.sd.com. Thank you.